By now you've probably heard of bath bombs. They look like this. And when you drop them in the tub, they turn your bath water from clear and boring to glittery and colorful. But one of the companies that makes bath bombs, Lush, is trying something new. Meet the Jelly Bomb. While a regular bath bomb changes the color or scent of your water, a jelly bomb changes it from water to goo. So naturally, I had to try it out. Okay, so it's fizzling, it's taking its time. All right, so it's not fizzling as much as I'd like. Hello? Ground control the jelly bomb. It just feels like soap. So the water is not really jelly yet. We may have to drop another one. Here we go. Well, based on the videos I saw online, I sort of expected the entire bath to turn into a gelatin texture, but it's still pretty liquid. It doesn't look like it's going to get as gelatinous as we had hoped, but it smells really nice, and the water does feel very smooth. Breaking up the jelly bomb. Now that's goofy. I'm not quite sure why anyone would want this in their bathtub, though. We tried out the bath bomb, now it's time to actually get to the bottom of how it really works. We're here with Tristan Lambert, professor of chemistry at Columbia University. How you doing, Tristan? Doing good. Um, so, to the best of your knowledge, how does a bath bomb work? Well, the primary mechanism for the fizzing is that it's an acid-base reaction, um, which is very simple. There's a very weak base, which is sodium bicarbonate. That's the same thing as baking soda. And then there's a weak acid, citric acid, which is used in a lot of food products. Now, when they're dry, uh, they can't react. But as soon as it touches water, the acid and base can react and it releases carbon dioxide. That's what gives you the fizzing activity of the bath bomb. So now Lush has come out with a new bath bomb called the Jelly Bomb. We tried it out. It didn't work exactly as we'd expected. Why might that be? The gelling component is sodium alginate. Depending on where you live, New York City in this case, you just might not have the right pH of the water, or it might have the wrong minerality to make the alginate work properly. So in theory, if the water had the right minerality, what would happen with the jelly bomb? Well, what you would see is that it would fizz, just like an Elka-Seltzer tablet, and then it would turn into basically a big tub of goo, sort of like a, a big tub of mucus. Gross. Yeah. So why would anyone want that? I have no idea. <laughs> 